Williams on the five. Coach Chok Reyes in the escape on Talbo. Alongside Kelly Williams, R.R. Pogoy, Marky Abuany, and Calvin of Tana. That was our tip of the game brought to you by... Depth of uh, TNT is a great role player, top defender. Although he was late in that closeout on Troy Rosario, who shot 50% from downtown last game. So Troy must be a mark man on defense for TNT because, again, he was a former TNT player. Yeah, they know, they're aware of his capabilities. His capacity to score, and that shot will be good. From Cagayan Valley, also at forward, number 18, Troy Rosario. And at center from Orani Bataan, number 8, Bradwin Quinto. From Cebu, at forward, number 0, Barkley Abonia. Also at forward from Talisay Cebu, number 16, R.R. Pogoy. Rambata had his frustrations in the last uh, conference in the Commissioner's Cup with, with Rainer Shine as you know, uh, the talent, the depth of Rainer Shine. And that's exactly the position that Blackwater needs, somebody to lead their team, uh, especially in scoring. Oh, Troy Rosario doing exactly that. He wants to lead Blackwater in scoring and make a statement. Uh, to uh, Troy Rosario, as you can see, he was uh, taken by uh, Calvin of Tana, a bit shorter than... Christian David making his move. This is a very tall unit for coach Jeffrey Cariaso because, again, Bradwin Guinto, Troy Rosario, and Christian David are basically the same height. Yes, uh, and Christian David can also post up. And again, he, he got uh, taken by Calvin Octana, much shorter than he is. Although that is not his usual offense. Christian David can from time to time hit it from inside. Octana, though. Our, our Bogoy now posting up against Sambata. Bogoy banging. Our R. Elevates oh. and scores on that jumper. Checking in to replace, replace Rey Nampata. Now guarding Kim Montalbo. Three seconds on the shot lock. Montalbo with a jumper. That's good for two. Yes. But I mean, if the pain is uh, at 9 out of 10 level, that's very painful. Good pass to the corner. Glenn Cobuntin converts off an assist from Brandon Ganuelos Rosser. Yes, what a great play coming from the strong side to the weak side. Open shooter in the corner, and Cobuntin delivers. And just like that, he, he retakes the lead. Tyrus Hill kicks it out to Ilagan. RK back to Hill inside for two. Yeah. So the five now for coach. Jeffrey Cariaso features Troy Rosario, who converts another one from downtown. He's flanked by Tyrus Hill, RK Ilaga, and JD Tokab with uh, rebounding and uh, timing with his blocks. He just needs to, to work a little more with his agility. But I mean, he's 6'9. He's and Jason Castro only with two to shoot. They go to Galinato. Does he know the clock remaining? Yes, he does, and he will score. For NLEX, he was often in foul trouble. And yes, he's got to learn how to manage fouls. But that's just a talented make coming from Kwekute. Almost a three-point shot, but apparently he had a foot on the line, according to our referees. Only a two-point basket, 19-18 in the count, a one-point lead for TNT. Aurin versus Big Game James uses the Galinato screen. Aurin, ooh. That was a deep catch. I thought Galinato for a moment was not ready to receive it. To still get that uh, tough pass from Aurin, and uh, it turned out to be a perfect play right there. Plus that push from uh, Bradwin Ginto. Was hot in the first quarter. Can he deliver more points for Blackwater? James Yap against BGR. That's a long three. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. But still. Okay, James. Okay. <laughs> Bradwin Ginto lost the ball. Great hands from Jason Castro as he poked it free. Wow. Euro step layup. Did it for Guinas. Is doing it for TNT. Oftana yes. with a basket. He has really mastered that move. Asking for the other guy to give a screen. Kelly Williams. He wanted that wow. mismatch. That's exactly what he wanted. He knew he had the speed versus Bradwin Ginto. Blackwater needs a leader to really step up here and make a basket. How about James? Yeah, I'm going two for two. Well, there's uh, your leader, James Yap, right there. Uh, certainly would love to play that role. 
the leader on the floor for Blackwater. One many championships with coach Jeffrey Carriasso as a part of the Magnolia franchise. A good defense from TNT. Uh, Calvin Oftana certainly made that uh, pass much harder to make. And TNT is on the run. RR Pogoy attacks. The Whirls leaves it for Montalvo. Extra pass. And nice. Bonia scores after the pick. Yes, great uh, shot fake. But he had to send it back out to Montalvo. Montalvo now using the Ebonia screen. Baseline drive, Kelly, top of the key, three-point shot is open, and it's good. They're seeing their lead dwindle down to two points. They have recovered their form with Machine Gun Kelly stroking it from downtown. For Blackwater on opening day, and uh, they surely miss him here. Let's hope he could still make a comeback as we see that uh, great uh, jump. Pull. That was Tung Kab who had a hand on it. David off the spin, patient move inside as David scores again. Not a very good uh, play right there, and this was earlier, great uh, spin move from oh, Christian. That's how we adjusted the rules, no? The yes, rip-through yes. does not lead to free throws any longer. As Christian David, another strong move, really taking his uh, mismatch again. Still tend to work with for Blackwater. David, fall away, Jay, goes wow. in. So the rookies won't really get to show us their full capabilities. As JD Tongkap skies, layup, misses. Ilagan is there to follow. Uh-oh. Rosario asking for it down low. Troy facing off against Ganuela Schrosser. Troy absorbs the contact and connects. He has 13 in it of the third period. And a very low scoring game. TNT with only 14 here in this period. Make that 16 now, courtesy of the blur. Yeah. Seven second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Castro with the pocket pass. Kelly Williams, extra pass down low. BGR, big boy move against Troy. Escalante yes, City, yes. so I'm sure that there will be a lot of uh, supporters for James Yap who will be seeing him in action there. We open things up in the second half. But should uh, TNT scored 108 points in their win against Rainer Shine. What is Blackwater doing to prevent them from doing so? Locates Pogoy. It's been quiet for a while now. Pogoy, that is his signature offense. Taking it against a smaller defender. Well, for Di Gregorio, it's difficult to make noise when you don't even get the, to see the floor. Zero minutes still. Oh, that's just a careless turnover coming from Galinato. Ilagan with a takeaway. Oh, Ooh, that might have been a traveling yes. violation. Nine point lead, the biggest of the ball game for the Blackwater Bossing. Bogoy fakes the three, moves in closer. He's a mid range killer. Yes, it's uh, it's like a muscle memory for uh, our, our Bogoy whenever he attacks uh, medium range, short range. He's got high percentage. A couple of former NU Bulldogs matched up. Now Ray Suerte pulls the trigger and he answers. He responds to extend their lead back up to nine. And they're having their answers. Every basket scored by TNT. Blackwater able to respond. Oftana with a breakaway. No help defense there. Scores easily with the leg. Yes, uh, great attack again. Nobody right there to challenge uh, Calvin. Our Arpo Goy with the rebound, and now they're trying to rush. Castro with the layup, back-to-back -back hits for TNT. Back-to-back -to -back layups for the blur. We'll get them within three. That's a six-to-nothing run for the Tropangiga. Nice. Great response from Escoto. With BGR, Oftana, Ryan Reyes, and Clint Cobuntin. Great cut. Oftana with the end one opportunity. Yes. Great read by uh, Calvin Oftana. He overplayed him in a great pass also. When you really like your big's ability to make that to inch closer, still down by six. Oftana in traffic. Oh. Tight pass down low. Layup is money for Matt. Yes, uh, nobody uh, saw Matt Ganuelas Rosser uh, treading the baseline. Couple of veterans here Senna versus Ponferrada. Recute, back to Senna. He locates Escoto. Baseline drive, Escoto scores! Yes, the baseline was too open. 
uh, Calvin Oktana allowed uh, Scotto to, to penetrate that baseline. Oktana asking for a ball screen, rejects it. Calvin kicks it out. Copontin open for three. That's good. And back to back assist for uh, Calvin Oktana as he finds the open men. Great creation there coming from Oftana. He knows he can be a decoy. Senna responds with that signature mid-range jumper. Testing out different combinations here. As James Senna fakes the runner. Oh, Ooh. James Senna showing off. Yes. But in this game, they've only shot four out of 20. But it only takes them one and to really get going. Quick Jose converts from downtown. Uh, on the roll, got the foul, and this was the top three-point shot by James Cuecote over uh, Kim Urin. Coach Chot, I saw him signaling earlier, use your feet to defend, not with your hands. Long three, won't work. Back tap, goes to Jason Castro. Castro is pushing, good hands from the vid. Castro finds a way to bank it home. As he immediately calls a timeout, Castro of the spin move, scoring on the banker against his former teammate, J.D. Tonkab, 72-65, a seven-point lead for Blackwater. Yes, and Jason Castro, of course, hoping to do the same in this game. They're still behind. And that is the weakness of the 2-3 zone defense. So 75-65, ten-point lead for Blackwater. Baseline drive, extra pass, the reverse is gone, oh. and one for Bradwin Ginto. J.D. Tungkap to Bradwin Ginto. He saw that the help defense committed. Kalinato could not recover in time. Bradwin. They need to get going right here, right now. Oftana to BGR. Oh. Block by Tungkap. Wow. Must that feel for J.D. Tungkap because that was the trade. Yeah. Rosario hits it. Tungkab with the defensive stop. And then the assist on the other side. And they lead by 15 now. Really scoring heavily inside the paint with a lot of these plays. Biggest lead in the ball game for the Blackwater bossing. As to former TNT. Now they need to show boys here in the end game. And that is going to be another turnover against TNT. RK, pull-up jumper in transition, no good. RK Ilagan cleans up after his own miss. Yeah. At this point of the game, they're 4 of 22, 18% from downtown. JD Tongkab makes a move. Tongkab blocked by Kobuntin. There's a mismatch somewhere. There it is, Bradwin versus Heruela. RK Ilagan lets oh. it fly, and that is a bomb from downtown. Yes, that's a big shot now. A, a, a huge 20 point lead for Blackwater. And that happened because of the mismatch. BGR had to dig deep to try and help the wrong guy open. Yes, that's enough space for uh, RK Ilagan to. And TNT has to rush. Oftana with another Euro step move as he kisses it off the glass in it versus Blackwater. Escoto will have to pull the trigger blocked by BGR. He's leaking out. He's ahead here. Brandon lays it up and in. Blackwater forces a turnover. Good pass inside. And the layup is good for Christian David. Another perfect setup from RK Ilagan, his eighth assist of the match. Yes, and that uh, really douses cold water on the uh, rally of uh, TNT here. But imagine that. You, you miss out on the 10 assists of, of Reynam Bata, but RK Ilagan delivers eight for you as a substitute and making sure they will not have any sort of momentum. Turnaround jumper will not bounce in for Troy Rosario. Still a tremendous overall performance for Blackwater in this ballgame. Blackwater back-to-back -back wins to open their campaign in the PBA 48 season Philippine Cup elimination round. Yes, even more impressive in this game.